Hey guys, Junior Two Three Nine Fifteen right here. And today I just want to just like tell you about how I feel about Steve Jobs, how I remember him and everything. Well, um, I just start off with how I even knew about Apple. Well, when I was younger, um, I didn't really have any of those Apple items. I didn't have the new that iPod, iPhone. I didn't none, none of that. But the first time I found out about it was from my sister. She had the iPod Touch. I mean, she had the iPod Shuffle, little square one. I think it was second or third generation. And I just started listening to music from that. And it was it was really good, good quality enough. I was like just listening and everything. And then soon when I discovered who made it, I was like, it's kind of cool. I mean, I know they're rich and everything, but. So that was like three years ago, but now in 2010, I got my first iPod Touch 4G for my birthday. My dad got it for me, the 8 gigabyte black version, and it was, well, of course, black, but it was really, I liked it. I was excited for the retina display. I was playing all my games and listening to my music. I was texting people with Wi-Fi on those apps, checking my Facebook, Twitter, everything. So I was really excited, but at the same time, I still didn't know every. I, I still didn't know anything about Apple. So then, when I was um on a trip to Puerto Rico, I discovered that they had the new iPad 2. And I was like, oh, I wonder how that works. I didn't know what it looks like. I didn't know how it works. I didn't even know what it sounded like. For gosh, but when I got home, I was looking on the, the computer. And I just kept searching videos of iPad 2 unboxings, reviews, boot up, boot down test, everything. Once I discovered it, like, for some reason, I feel like I know so much about Apple. Like, I'm, I'm not the, I know I'm not the best. I probably don't know about all those gigabytes, gigahertz, all those technical stuff. I'm just knowing about the products. Yeah, but like, I finally got the iPad 2. And I was like, oh my gosh. I finally worked at it. I, I like know. I'm like feel like I'm so used to it now. I only had it for like a couple months. And then the iPhone 3GS, it was a really good phone. My sister has it, but she gave it to me. And it was really working. I mean, I gave my iPod Touch to my sister, and it was just I was in love with Apple products. I mean, looking at on YouTube like iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, unboxings, reviews. Apple gets is so rich, I just love it. And I'm glad Steve Jobs created it. Like, it's one of the, he changed basically the world. And even though there's a lot of Apple haters out there, you still cannot deny Apple products. I mean, right now I have the old iPhone 3GS. I mean, like, how can you not like it? The beautiful, simple design. I mean, look at it. A little messed up, but simple 3GS design. Home button, microphone, lock, camera, headphones, ringer, volume rocker, just the Apple logo, the speakers, and the microphone dock. That's it. And also the SIM card. But usually phones have a billion, gillion buttons you don't even know how to work. This is simple. I mean, it's pretty thin, even though this is so old. And then the iPhone 4S is a huge leap forward. It's a great new design. Well, it's still the same design as the iPhone 4, but it's still great new features. They have the 8.5 dual core processor. I mean, who wouldn't be excited for all these Apple devices? Even Androids. I mean, you gotta admit, iOS is pretty good. I mean, look at this. The iPad 2, super thin. Well, I got a case on it. Same home buttons, camera, everything. Beautiful display. You can easily slide through everything, fast internet, everything. I mean, I'm telling you, Apple is one of the greatest products ever. Hitting the markets all the way, blowing up. It's just really great. and. Uh, and if it wasn't for Steve Jobs, I wouldn't have been, been a, like a big fan of Apple. I wouldn't have made unboxing videos, review videos, technical videos. I wouldn't have even touched one of these. I probably would have ended up getting a PlayStation 3 or an Xbox or 
and 500 trampolines. But instead, I chose Apple. And I'm a big technical nerd, for sure. I mean, I'm not the gigahertz, woohoo, all that, but I'm used to it. And it's kind of sad that Steve Jobs passed away. I'm going to buy much more of his products. And he's such a great person. I mean, I never met him. I've never really known about him. But I feel like a piece of my heart just, like, exploded. Because he was really a great creator. I mean, age 55, he was awesome. It may not mean nothing to y'all. Understand nothing was done for me So I don't plan on stopping at all I want it forever